Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Chris and welcome to CrossChop. Today I'm going to share with you five things that you probably didn't know about CrossChop. Let's take a look. So, the story behind this was that I was recently tagged by a fellow St. Louis retro game collector named NeoSolid22. Now he's a great guy, he's got a great NES collection, he posts videos of his recent pickups pretty frequently, and he's also an active contributor to the St. Louis Retro Gamers group on Facebook. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and give him a follow, I'll uh, go ahead and put a button up here that you can click, or down in the description text you can click his profile there to check his channel out. Now, with respect to the five things I'm going to share here today, I gave them some pretty deep thought and really wanted to kind of take a different angle on this. There's a lot more to what kind of made me who I am today than just what my focus of my channel is, which is music and video games. So I figured I would kind of spruce it up and add a little variety to it. So each of these is going to be different and there's only going to be one or so of each of the main focuses that this channel's about. So without further ado, Here's number one. I'm a big fan of language studies, and as a matter of fact, in high school I took three years of Japanese, then in college I took three years of Latin, and I actually majored in English with an emphasis on creative writing. So I've always enjoyed communication and seeing the intricacies of how people talk with each other and how it helps them get through their days, either with interacting with each other in a personal situation or even in respect to business. So studying English, Japanese, and Latin has been uh, pretty formative into a lot of my interests here today, and some of it even plays into this channel. Fact number three is that I've been a member of eight bands, but only three, maybe four, you could argue, of them have actually been serious bands. Many of them were what you could call joke bands, kind of. Nevertheless, uh, I've played um, a lot of shows, never went on actual tour or anything like that, but um, the main band that I spent a lot of time with was actually in high school going into college, and over the course of slightly under two years, we played about 50 shows in three or four states, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I, I do miss that quite a bit. The last band that I was in was around for nearly two years, but only played a handful of shows. The last show that I played was actually on Halloween of 2010, and I did vocals for two bands. The current one that I was in at the time, and then a kind of a reunion show of the band before that. So uh, that was a lot of fun, and uh, still you know, play music, still listen to music a lot, but uh, definitely part of what shaped me into you know, caring about music as much as I do now was playing music and performing live. The next fact is that my favorite restaurant in St. Louis, where I currently live, is actually a two-way tie between an Indian restaurant and a Mexican restaurant, which is very authentic. Uh, the Mexican restaurant is in the city in St. Louis, closer to the Mississippi River. It's called Taqueria El Bronco, and I love it. It's one of my favorite places to go. Typically like to go there once a month if I can. I would go there more if it wouldn't make me fatter than I already am or deplete my wallet completely. The other one, the Indian restaurant, is actually over in Krivkur, which is kind of west of the city, and it's called Flavor of India, and they have some of the most flavorful, spiciest Indian food I've ever had, and it's fantastic. So uh, if you're ever in the St. Louis area, or if you live here now, I highly recommend you check them out. Fact number four is that although I'm not a huge sports fan, I don't really follow them too much, I did play soccer for about 12 years, all the way from first grade up through high school um, on our you know, junior varsity and varsity teams at the high school I attended. I did continue playing soccer into college via intramurals, but I haven't played it too much since then. I still enjoy it. I still love watching it on TV, love the World Cup, but my favorite sport to actually play typically is basketball, and I also do like watching college basketball, so March Madness is uh, one of my favorite months of the year. And last but not least, the final fact about CrossChop that you probably didn't know, this one actually is going to be video game related. The very first video game that I had was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers handheld game made by Tiger Electronics, which I was pleased to see you actually can still buy on Amazon and eBay and other places online. Whoa, that was scary. The seat that I'm sitting on just about collapsed on me. It was almost a cave-in. But uh, that one was extremely important to me uh, growing up. Spent a lot of time annoying my parents and family members with the beeping sounds and all that good stuff. From there, the first proper handheld console that I had was the original Nintendo Game Boy. I had the clear model, 
and the first cartridge I had for that was the the double Galaga and Galaxian cart. Spent a ton of time with that. My dad also loved that one. I never could beat my father's high score. He'd had practice playing that in the arcades back in, uh, gosh, I guess the 80s. From there, the first console that I actually had uh, that connected to a television was the Sony PlayStation. And I actually happened to have some video footage of the Christmas morning where I received that with my family. So I think I'll be making that into a future video here pretty soon. So you'll probably be able to find that here hopefully in the coming weeks. It's been pretty busy lately, but uh, I'll try to throw that together and post that here on my channel. So stay tuned. Anyway, guys, those are the top five facts that you didn't know about me for now, at least. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about that. And I'm going to go ahead and tag a few more people. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tag, let's see, Locust Albatross, also known as Lord Bale from Louisville, Kentucky, a good friend of mine, fellow gamer, fellow musician, much more prolific in the music sense than I am. He's been in tons and tons of bands. He'll probably be able to give you a better count than I could. The second person I'm going to tag is Thunderful Channel with my buddy Bobby over there. Good, good guy, lots of funny stuff. Um, so I'd like to know his top five facts that we didn't know about Thunderful. And lastly, I think I'll tag John Ship, uh, one of my good buddies who uh, is pretty active on YouTube. He's um, one of the smartest people I know, and I would love to learn more about him as well. So I'd love to see your top five videos. Anyway, if this is your first time here, thanks so much for coming by and checking this out. If you enjoyed, I'd love it if you would subscribe so you can see more videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and take care.